it's Carrie Shepard, business mentor for women entrepreneurs. Can you believe that we only have 11 days left in 2014? It's amazing, this year has flown by for me and I bet it's flown by for you as well. And so that's why today I wanna talk about how you can wrap up 2014 in style and kick off 2015 in a huge way. Because I know it's time for you to make your mark in this world. It's time for you to play big, play full out, and to accomplish those big, scary, giant goals you have. But to do that, it does take a little bit of time for reflection. And I've brought you back here to this beautiful backyard today because I wanted to share with you what I've done in the last couple of weeks to really start to wrap up 2014. If you've been following me from, for any time, you know that travel is a huge passion of mine. It really lights me up and it gives me the ability to be in connection with other like-minded individuals. It gives me the ability to connect with my clients in person. And to be honest, it's just plain fun to see other parts of the world. And so this month, it's taken me, my traveling and my business and just my passion has taken me to San Diego for eight days, which was absolutely gorgeous. And then it took me to Miami to meet up with my fellow sisters that I've been in a group with for over a year now. And we really were able to celebrate and to acknowledge what we had done in this year. So grab a piece of paper and a pen because I wanna walk you through a couple of questions that you, after you, we wrap up this video, you can take some time to yourself. Maybe you have a beautiful backyard or a space that you like to meditate and journal and you can answer some of these questions for yourself. Okay, so here goes. The first one is list out at least 10 celebrations or wins in 2014. And I know sometimes we may think um, some of our wins were trivial or they didn't, they didn't matter. But everything you do matters. Every little win that you've had over this last year is propelling you into the future. So think about that awesome client that you landed or that wonderful website you launched, that sales page, that, that first person you hired, or maybe it was that first newsletter you put out or the first video you did. Maybe it was really getting connected to your higher power. Maybe it was you getting connected to what your desires are. So just spend some time and, and come up with at least 10. And if you have more, keep going, don't stop yourself. Really celebrate everything that you've done in 2014. All right, after you've done that, the next step is going to be make a list of places that you might have missed your mark. What that means is, what are the places that maybe you, you could have done better, or you could have maybe worked a little harder, or maybe you've, upon reflecting, you realize you could have done things differently. You know, maybe it was getting that newsletter out on a consistent basis. Maybe it was getting a marketing plan in place and sticking to it. Maybe it was getting better at delegating or building your team. And maybe it was a skill set that you definitely know you want to work on more next year and you missed your mark because you didn't, you didn't spend the time on it this year. So I don't want you to spend too much time on this step, but it is important to do a little reflecting on what we could have done differently. Because what it's going to do is it's going to bring us into the new year knowing what we want to work on. So that's going to help you really establish your goals for 2015. So after you've done that, then I want you to start thinking about 2015. What do you want to see in 2015? So you can think about your business. Of course, we want to make our business goals. You know, what is your financial goal? How many clients do you want to have? Um, what do you want your business to look like? Do you want support teams? Who do you want to hire? What do you want your personal life to look like? How much free time do you want? Maybe it's your love life, maybe it's time for you to call in that one, or maybe it's time to up-level your relationship with that special somebody in your life. You know, what, um, what kind of traveling do you wanna do? Is it, do you wanna buy a new wardrobe? Do you need a new car? Is it time for a new place to live, maybe? So really just dream and write and really spend some time journaling because, again, what what you put down and what you write matters because that's really starting to ingrain in your mind what it is that you want. And then you're gonna start breaking those goals down to figure out how you, how you get there. 
but don't hold back. You know, if it's something that you want a brand new wardrobe and you want a new car and you want to travel around the world, like just let yourself dream. You want a $300,000 business, you want five team members, you know, whatever the case may be, just write that down and get to journaling. And then the second step in that part is going to be what help do you need in order to make these dreams come true? So is it that additional team member? Do you need a personal assistant? Do you need a virtual assistant or additional virtual assistant? Do you need, maybe for those health goals, you need a personal trainer? Maybe you need a chef. I know that's on my list for next year. So really start thinking about who it is that you need to bring into your life to help you reach those goals. And so after you've done that, you're gonna have these four key areas all written out. And this is gonna be the starting point to making your 2015 the best year yet. So I definitely plan to come back to you with some more planning and goal setting activities so that you can reach all those fantastic goals. But this is gonna be the foundation. And so I challenge you to get this done today. Go and do it right now because you know, if you put it off till tomorrow, then tomorrow's gonna come and the next day's gonna come and then Christmas is gonna be here and then New Year's is gonna be here and by the time you come back to it, if you even do, it might be 2015 already. And don't, wouldn't it feel so amazing to be starting the year with these plans laid out? So go do it. I challenge you to go do it. And then after you're done, I would love to hear from you. Did you find this helpful? What part of it did you find helpful? And then also, I would love to hear what you are up to in 2015. So please leave a message below or feel free to private message me on Facebook or send me an email to carrie at carrieshepherd.com. If you liked this video, please like it. And if it would be helpful to your friends or your clients, please pass it along. I'd love for more people to be rocking out their goals next year, to walk into 2015 excited for what the year is going to come from. So until next time, have a beautiful day. And if I don't see you before then, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. Enjoy the time with your friends and family, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.